We take more modern anti-air vehicles known as SPAs that are built to take out the most deadliest of aircraft, but have them face some of World War II's most powerful and famous tanks of different nations. How well can the more modern do against what it wasn't quite intended for with its high rate of fire weaponry, variety of missile types, and little armor? Today, we find out. We'll be doing three rounds. The first will be 21 modern SPAs versus 36 World War II tanks. The second and third round will be more or less depending on the previous rounds, changing different teams, just seeing what would make these two balanced. And then our last will be our chaos round. At night, with infinite respawns and a 15 minute timer, let's see how these two sides do in the first round. Now, I said in the beginning of the intro that the SPAAs, or more modern ones, were only meant for the aircraft and were meant to take on tanks. However, they do have and can play both roles. The modern or more modern SPAAs actually have like more of a tank destroyer role in some capacity with their uh, missiles being used as anti-tank and being able to take those out. They're very fast, high-firing rate of fire weapons. will do well against things like Shermans or T-34s, but they're really going to struggle when it comes to more heavily armored vehicles of this time period, such as like a mouse or an IS-3. Quite a scary experience for this BM-13M player, as this truck has absolutely no armor. If any of his SPAs turn on it, it'll rip it to shreds. And probably pulling off the most intense multi-point turn that I've ever seen. I can only imagine if this was real life, the passenger would probably be yelling at the driver to get this thing turned around in the midst of all these SPAs. classify it as a tank that you could play within this event from the World War II side is it had to have been developed from the end of 1945 and prior. Whereas the SPA team had to use the most modern SPAAs that War Thunder has given us in game or some of the most highest tier ones available. One of the things that the SPA team is really going to struggle with is the fact that they really have little to no armor, whereas the World War II tanks that they're facing, a lot of them do have a decent amount. Amazingly, a lot of these more modern SPAs only have about 68 to 127 millimeters of penetration with their more fast firing weaponry. Whereas with the World War II tanks, most of their armor that they're going to be facing is about 100 millimeters, and if angled in slope, that definitely increases the thickness of that armor, which is going to make it a bit harder for the SPA team. M4 Sherman. This is a perfect example because the sides of the Sherman only have about 38 millimeters of armor, but when it's angled like this, it actually has an effective armor thickness of about 120, 130 millimeters of armor. The LAVAD has Hydra 70 rockets that are also used on the Apache and primarily used in the air to ground roll. With the SPA team not having much armor, they need to rely on hard cover a lot, peek out when they can get those shots off and make sure they're not in the line of fire, whereas the World War II team can make more of a push because of their armor and is doing so here in this round. Even some of these SPAs are getting knocked out by just the machine guns used against them. The 
SPA team has to be very particular of where and when they're shooting with their high rate of fire cannons, as if not getting the critical or kill hit they need quickly can buy the World War II tanks time to knock them out. The SPA's missiles won't have the speed compared to a shell from a cannon, so that can also make it a bit difficult for them. Round one coming to an end, the modern SPA team just gets absolutely run over by the World War II team. We now add more modern SPA tanks, but this time, because we didn't have enough participants with rank seven SPAs, we now include rank six, along with some SPAs that had and served dual roles with SPA weapons. Let's see how this second round goes. A lot of the participants bring out these really thickly armored tanks like the Churchill, the Jumbo, the Tiger II, and etc. But there is actually an SPA that can quite easily cut through just about any one of these, the automatic, shooting its darts with about 310, 311 millimeters of penetration. World War II team playing very aggressive here, using their fast tanks to try and get behind those enemy lines about halfway through the map, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner with the spectator map, trying to get to those smart positions, but are also getting taken out quite quickly as these SPAs are very fast as well. <laughs> amount of ammo and the fast rate of fire that these modern SPAs are just capable of is just so insane, just completely outmatching these World War II tanks. This wider variety of SPA is now incorporated in this event. The rate of fire is really giving the SPA team the advantage here. Whereas a lot of these World War II tanks, yeah, they have their machine guns that can cut through that weaker armor of the SPAs, but they really seem to be making quite a comeback here, even though there are a little bit more than the previous round. the blinding effect from being shot from the SPAAs, just high rate of fire just completely makes it so that the World War II tanks have a really hard time trying to figure out where they're aiming. I think some of the participants in the SPAs that knew they didn't quite have the penetration would try to avoid some of these more heavily armored vehicles or wait till they could get to the flank of them where they knew their armor was much weaker and they had a better chance of penetrating them or marking them on the map so that those SPAs that do have the missiles and better penetration can actually work on those and then knock them out.
it was funny seeing it multiple times where a World War II tank would go to try and line up because it doesn't have the very stable weapons like the more modern vehicles do. Line it up and take a shot right as a missile was fired from the SPAA, but the amount of time it took for the missile to reach the tank already got both of them killed and knocked out. Some SBAs, it's a risk getting so close, but also helps maximize what penetration they're capable of. This right here just seemed to be such a good example of just what it would take for some of these SPAs <laughs> with their fast firing cannons just to get through and knock out one of these more later World War II tanks. SPA team makes a dominating comeback, just crushing the World War II team. We now go into round three before our Night Chaos round, where in this one, they still could use rank seven and six with those vehicles that have both purposes with SPA capabilities. But now there's fewer. Let's see how well they can do in this third round. two team is leaving themselves very vulnerable right here out in the open where the SPAs can shoot their missiles over objects quite easily knocking them out. the more modern SPA vehicles have better mobility than most World War II tanks to help them get to critical spots faster and catching some of these tanks off guard. It was just so impressive to see what this five barrel rotary 25 millimeter cannon is just capable of against these tanks. Another disadvantage that the SPAs had was that because of how many times they had a fire, it would more likely give away their position, making it much more easier for the World War II team to kind of hone in and find out where they were shooting from to close in. Already showing some of that non-pen capability that some of these SPAs just don't quite have with their missiles. Being about seven minutes into the battle, the SPA team has knocked out 17 tanks. Can they pull through and make a victory with what's left?
just insane what kind of explosions would come off these tanks after they would be fired from these SPAs and still not even quite knocking them out completely. I got hit by a Sturm Tiger. And the last of the SPA team just getting absolutely run over here. Only just a few left as the rest of the World War II teams just close in. And I just love how this guy's hiding. Well, nobody realizes until this guy comes around the corner and gets uh, quite a surprise. And bringing our third round to an end with only nine World War II tanks left. Great match. We now go into our final round of chaos where we go into a night battle, infinite respawns, 15 minute timer, just to see what this looks like. Hope you all enjoy. I forgot to mention that the SPA team can actually now choose any SPA they want against the World War II tanks in this round. chaos round to an end with a total of 33 SPAs that had died and 52 World War tanks that had died. Hope you all enjoyed this vid. You guys all stay cool and keep tanking.